Let's have a look at this issue of Street Machine magazine from June 1979. Actually, the second ever issue of the magazine. So, diving in, we're just going to have a look at the uh, more interesting cars and features rather than flipping through the whole thing. So, diving in, first up, the vans and trucks section. Really want to make some model vans. There are not very many base models for vans out there. And there are even fewer models of Morris Marinas. Airfix used to do a Marina model, but obviously not anymore. So this has, this is a section of it that I was most interested in. This is a few shots from one of the shows that they went to. I have found online a model for a Bedford CF. And the Bedford CF seemed to get more customizing done to it than the transit so there may be something maybe this one i've got another another uh potential base for one in uh, one of my other magazines that uh that will be coming up in this series and uh old ford pop mazda i think you can get uh, there's a couple of decent mazda pickup models ford anglia don't think there are very many ford anglia models out there at the moment And here's a double page advert spread of various bits and pieces. Very few of these I can see being ones I can make as 3D models, but you never know. I may be coming back to this for inspiration sometime. And this is an interesting one. This uh, It's an introduction to low riders. Possibly, you know, first coverage some of the readers would have seen about low riders back in 1979. And it's... Uh, bit of history of where it all came from, how um, various demographics shifted across different styles of uh, street racing and customising and all of that, and how it's come to these, the early lowriders. And uh, a mention of like one of the things that's now one of the things you most think about when you think about lowriders, a mention of air ride and all the systems that they make up of that. So possibly even back in 1979 this was still a relatively uh, new creation was air ride and hydraulics and all of that not a car specifically but a entertaining little bit here about making up your own front lip for your car front spoiler out of uh, styrofoam uh, polyurethane foam styrofoam i think and a bit of uh, fiberglass and over the page, this was uh, this would be their first project car, an old Rover P90, I think. But uh, early bodywork in the project, including Frenching the um, the number plates and making some changes front and rear, which is cool. So it's uh, some more of it over this page. No. And like it says, archetypal pop, the Ford pop. Probably still one of the most popular um, bases for British rods. And this one is built to the what, pretty much the standard formula. The Ford V6, uh, Jaguar independent rear suspension, Vauxhall independent front suspension, all of that. And they fastened it up to a fifth wheel and did some acceleration tests. And whilst it wasn't super powerful, it's not like the sort of thing you see on the uh, the internet where it's like we must do quarter miles in six seconds, that kind of deal. It was, uh, yeah, it was a like they say, good times for a, a car and for an engine that hadn't been serviced before being put into it. So this is back when this sort of thing could be driven as a nearly daily driver, and that's the results that they reckon they got for it. Another couple of pages of ads. I do like the mini spoilers and some of these. I still don't think I can quite get to building these for anything until I've got myself a, a scanner to scan some models in to just sort of work work out the uh, shapes that I'm working around. But uh, samples of some of the wheels you had in back in the day. And uh, so... There's a lot of practical stuff in this. You forget that uh, it's not just about the finished product, it's about teaching people how to make them. So here's a beginner's guide to airbrushing. And over the page, something completely different again. 
which is a history of the land speed record attempts on Bonneville up until 1979, obviously. So I don't know what the current uh, world land speed record is. Maybe I have to go and have a check. Bunch of interesting facts there. And then, obviously, there are some feature cars. In this case, four different pickups. So this started life as a Polsky Fiat, and chop top and uh, wheel arch bulges. Very nice looking car. This would not look out of place nowadays on, at a show, really. Most of it is stuff you, you would be happy to see on a current uh, a contemporary build. Over the page, this is a Chevup, a Chevette van, Chevette pickup made from a van. Weirdly enough, no shots of the front, possibly because all of the work went into converting it from a van to a pickup. I don't know. A couple more pages on, and we've got two Morris Minor pickups. The Morris Minor is the other classic base for a British custom, um, though when they were writing this, they weren't so much. They were uh, they weren't as popular as Ford the, as the Ford Pop, but uh, since then, definitely become more so. And you've got to love these two X post vans. It's I think if I read it right, converted to pickups. Don't think I'm ever going to be able to actually do a mural on the side of a model. Got to love the times back when that was part of the whole thing. Was let's spray a scene on the side of your car. And this is uh, an article about Ford Cortina Mark I, but uh, the bit of the article that, um, the big selling point of the article for them is that this was all done down a side street rather than in like a, a workshop or a, a dedicated garage. And as well as real cars, you've got to love the ideas that are come in these magazines like this was a Fordson van idea for a rather hardcore street machine with a top chop and various other modifications. Possibility, I think Rev will do a Fordson van. They definitely do the Anglia Gasser. So who knows, that might be a possibility sometime in the future, if that kit's still readily available, of course. Lifestyle feature, something about etching the glass on your car. A couple of pages of Q&A, you know, ask a question, how do we fix it? Another interesting uh, page worth of adverts for uh, replica bodies, for Model T's and the like. And the ads, I'm not going to read the ads, there's far too much stuff going far too cheap. And yes, I know it was 30 years ago, 40 years ago, goodness. So that's another one from the stash, another of my magazines, my vintage car magazines. Might have to go and see if I can get volume one, part number one. And all of these, potential inspiration for future builds. This is going to be a regular feature now. I've got about another uh, dozen magazines to do, so uh, stick around. These will keep coming as, as often as I can make them.